It was friends first, and, and then we turned into um, lovers. The fiance of DMX sitting down for an exclusive interview with Fox 5's Lisa Evers, her first time speaking out since the rapper's shocking death. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Bowens. Well, in an emotional sit down, Desiree Lindstrom shares her love story with DMX from the first time they met to how she's been coping with his death. Our Lisa Evers brings us her story in an exclusive report you'll only see here on Fox 5. The world knows DMX as superstar artist for his multi-platinum music, but there's one person who knew him better than anyone else, Desiree Lindstrom, his fiance of 10 years, mother of their four-year-old son and the love of his life. Now she's speaking out about their close relationship and how she's dealing with her painful personal loss in this exclusive interview. He was my best friend. He was all I had. He was everything. He was my world. I lived around him, so it has been very, very, very hard. It's the first time Desiree Lindstrom is breaking her silence. She sat down with me to talk about her extraordinary relationship with one of hip-hop's most creative and beloved stars, Earl DMX Simmons. In April, as fans held vigils outside White Plains Hospital, Desiree stayed by his bedside day and night. She says no one could tell her he wasn't going to wake up. I wasn't giving up. I didn't care if I was looking like a walking zombie. I wasn't going to give up on him. I had hope that he was going to get up. Desiree met Earl 10 years ago in Arizona. Their first date was at a Buffalo Wild Wings full of laughter and jokes. She says when he held her close, she did not want him to let her go. And despite many challenges, he never did. She tells me that in 2021, he was at a turning point, embracing family life and looking towards their future. And I really feel like he was coming to a peace. I think he was trying to fix everything and he reached out to certain people that I know he had issues with and he was just trying to um, fix everything. That healing process ended on April 9th when DMX passed away from catastrophic cardiac arrest. Desiree says her toughest moments are in private with her four-year-old son Exodus, especially when they visit his gravesite. He tells me now that he wants to go to heaven with his daddy that he wants to um, visit him and I keep telling him like you can't come back if you go to heaven with your daddy and of course he don't understand he just says I'm gonna be back mommy I'm gonna be back I'm gonna come back and I'm like it's not a visit type of thing baby it's not a visit type of thing and Desiree says the spiritual faith he taught her and that they shared is helping her now just as it did when the relationship went through severe challenges I wanted to be there for him I wanted to love him unconditionally and that's what I felt like I did Friends and business associates say that DMX was planning to take Desiree on a trip and give her a surprise wedding. About a week before he passed away, he told her to buy a white dress, which she thought was for a beach vacation. Now she knows it was for the wedding that will never happen. But she says he left her a legacy of love and their beautiful son. Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.